Hello guys, welcome back to the third lesson of HTML and CSS. In the last lesson, we designed this page, Indian Tourism, that is just basic page. Now we are going to focus on navigation. We will add some buttons on this, like this. Uh, we see here three pages, home button, tour package and contact us. So we are going to create these two pages, tour packages and contact us. And we are going to link with these two. So as of now, I'm just going to close this one. Okay so this is our simple page currently and now we will just create these three buttons on this okay let's do it so let me open code for this one first so this was the code of this page and let me uh, put it beside it so that uh, it doesn't confuse you okay and uh, okay that's good let me open the folder in the background okay yeah that's quite good now we have this and that that's fine so let's add three buttons first on this let's do it so we just create a division now uh, and give a class class name we did it in the last lesson as well so i'm going to put give the name as navbar and uh, let's close this as well so that we don't forget to close it in between okay so now we are going to introduce you a na new html tag that is a that is an anchor tag okay so normally we are having like this a okay and we just close something like this a. so we give a name on this home and uh, we have one more anchor a now i am going to name it as tour packages or tour plan whatever you want let's give it two packages so you now it will look clear sense so we are going to make home page is always ready this will be our home page we will create this two packages page okay and uh, we will create one more page for the contact us so let's this contact as well contact us we will delete this information what we are seeing uh, right, what you are seeing right now this one we will delete this contact we will just put a separate page for this contact details right normally you have seen that we are having some other page for contact us in so many websites so we were going to create similar like that okay and uh, if we save it and let's see that what it does now you see it has just put an name at the top home even if you see that these are buttons but still if you hover over this you cannot click on this because you haven't given any reference on this one right so this is anchor tag and this is having a quality to refer this refer this means that you can click on this and you will be redirected to anywhere else so this property is done by href href so you are going some reference to another file so after that when you just click on home page you it will be redirect you to the which page we are going to redirect to the indian tourist.html because we want the home page so let's do it as indian tourist.html fine let's save it and uh, for the tour packages i'm going to refer uh, href as tour package dot html fine and for the contact us we'll create one more page and that is as contact us dot html fine let's save it now we see the difference what it is now we are having like this if you're going then it's showing a hand it hand means that we can click on that before that it was on an i on that if you don't remember you can scroll back on the video and you see that before that whenever you're going to hover over this then it was showing an i that you cannot click on that okay but it is done doesn't look so good so i'm going to add some css for this so that uh, it may look fancy a little okay so let's go to the our nav bar fine because this is a nav bar class so this nav bar class only it is going to the make it fancy so i'm going to the folder and i'm going to open the style sheet okay 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 it is so it it opened the css of the previous one okay uh, now we will add some css for the nav bar so it's a class so we're going to write as a nav bar dot nav bar okay 
let me open the chrome as well so it will keep showing us what we are doing you know it makes a clear picture what we are doing yeah, here it is Nabar. so first thing is that we want width that width should be 100 percent of that one okay so let's make its width as 100 percent fine okay let me put it at the top so it will be visible to you that's fine nav bar width should be 100 percent and its padding should be now you are thinking that how i decided this padding so these are the padding are done by the experiment uh, you put these value wherever it looks fine it doesn't come something like that no no you have to follow this 8px or 10px you have to try that one and then you just see that okay now this is looking good so you can just decide accordingly that shit nothing else there's no hard and fast rule for this so this is the nav bar okay i'm a little happy with this one now we have to make some more changes whenever we're going to hover over this right so i'm going to dot nav bar and then after a right a is the anchor class so after that we will just decide these values so this is going to be a you know, big change on that one you just have a look on there first thing i want that text background not yes text background so let me put it as background color background color should be white right let's see what it is oh yes little 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 good not so good but yes a little and uh, after that we just want that it should be displayed as block okay display it as block let's see what it does oh my god it has just totally ruined it no problem we will cover it let's make it as font size okay font size should be should be should be how much how much okay let's put it as 50 pxs of now okay little little under control float because it is just you know uh, top one above other so let's float it let's float it to the left okay and now yes now it's back to the normal and we are quite happy with that after that we put the margin margin let's pick it as 1px let's see what it is okay little no 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 not too much impacted but still i'm quite happy with that and uh, let's make the text decoration that is quite important because text decoration you know we are showing some line be below that one so that will just gone away i will be quite happy with that because i just don't want that that's this quite old-fashioned i don't want that so yes now now it's better font size should be 15 px that is okay background color is also okay let's put it as the padding padding is the most important part and it will make a big change you see padding 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 should be 8px as as above so we will put the same padding right so now let's see that what it does that's perfect i'm quite happy with this this yeah 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 but these are oh, just a very single let's uh, put it as a bold yeah right so this is uh, one more html tag for you as of now this is this will put this value as a bold you want to see the difference let me uh, do it for two and <laughs> i will leave for the third one so you will see the change how much you know what difference it is making uh, let me refresh it now you see this is making as a bold and that leaves the third one so i will make the bold as well if you don't like this bold you can keep as it is no problem but i like it so i'm doing for you know my sake <laughs> if you don't like it or your <laughs> the page you are designing you that doesn't require keep it in bold then you can put like that okay now next thing that if we hover over this button then it should show that we have come to this correct so let's make a hover dot nav bar a and after that put a colon and write it as hover and 
write the color for that let's change this background background color yes where it's gone it is here and we put the same this green color on that one it will look good so i remember that one that color was 009c1f 009c1f and just close it let's see the difference now whoa 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 whoa, whoa. correct you feel good that's how that's how i like if you don't like this green color because i have want to you know match this one when we have matching things it looks good normally if you don't like this green color you can put any other color as well but as of now i'm keeping it but this black color doesn't look good on this let me make it white text should be color should be uh, let's make this color okay so that color is 88 and 8 8 8 8 if you have difficulty in choosing the color in the previous session i just told you uh, how to pick the colors you can just uh, go through that one and you will easily come to know how to find this hex color and uh, now it's good i'm quite happy with that okay that's quite good so now we just click on home page we are at home page no problem with that we click on the tool packages and it shows that you don't have that file oh, exactly because we don't have that file oh no it is it is having it is having a blank page that's quite good so let me open it if i have it or not i think it i'd have been having on this my folder tool packages oh yes i did it so let's open this one via sublime text here it is that's quite good tool package.html i hope package.html i have referenced correctly and let me check if i have the css for this tool package no no we don't have css for this one so let me create a css for this uh, let me add one new page and uh, save it as tool package or package.css okay package.css and let's save, save it let's pick one more page that is for contact and save it first contact.html save it and uh, css space for that so we'll make a contact dot css fine so now our job is to work on these three pages so at least now if you click on the home page then uh, it doesn't it will not uh, say that you, your file is not found if you click on the home page it's redirects to the home page if you go on the tool packages it's give you the blank page and the same it is going to the click on the contact as oh it's showing as doesn't find it okay we have this contact.html paste it and refresh it and now we will see this contact us oh yes now it is having a blank page so now our job is to design these two pages two packages and contact.html so this is going to be fun because you are going to learn a lot of things on creating these pages if you have missed the previous session then uh, it will not be too much difficult because i am going to cover all of them but definitely i will be a little quick on that so for the details you have to go to the previous lesson if not then be right with us i'm going to design the our next page and uh, this is the page so let's add now the basic html and here it was basic html and let's add title title should be to package that makes sense okay and after that we will refer to our css right if we do not refer it then it will not know that which css file to refer link and i have to make relation that should be an style sheet okay relation should be our style sheet and uh, the reference should be package packages no package dot css and here we just close it okay and now we go to body now so for the body that some of the things will be common and this will be like navigation bar so we will quickly go to indian tourism and we'll copy some of the things so like this and after that i think indian tourism will also because i want to keep that heading in our this page as well so we will have added this 
three things and uh, we will also copy the css for these things right we have to copy the css for navbar as well as for the h1 and i want the body background the same for this page as well so i will copy three things navbar first so let's uh, take navbar first and here is everything about the dot navbar let's copy this one and put it over in the package css and save it and uh, next thing was the body and h1 so let's set go at the top and take the body and h1 from here right because these are the things which are common in both the pages so don't i don't want to waste time uh, the for these two thing two things and uh, after saving it let's see that what page we have created uh, this comes like because i haven't uh, registered so that's why it's showing as byte so that's how here is it's coming as indian tourism but there is some problem there is some problem and what it is the relation is style sheet and dash for css style sheet hf yes now it should be good yes now here it is but i don't want this background image here so let me remove that one from the css where is this where i want to add one more pick for this one that is Taj. so that will be the new thing here and here it is but the width is not quite good so i will add some other width for that one so that is uh, body right so let me change body for that one right so let's go to body where is our body body here it is yeah so background size is 100% that is okay and uh, after that I don't want this and uh, this should be the fixed one that I want 200 and 100 pixels I think that will make good one yes that's perfect okay and anything else I think that top part is okay and uh, nothing is required now let's make some packages for dummy packages for this one so that it will you know, look something in the page so let's quickly go to the tour packages once again and now we creating the content for this page okay so we are going to add some tables some other things so for that I am making making a division for these purposes okay and uh, giving this class as a tour plan class is equals to tour plan tour plan fine and let's close this disable disable no if we don't close it no sometimes i forget it so for my sake i just close it right <laughs> immediately otherwise uh, sometimes i find um, i'm just for the sake for some changes i'm making two tips although it is not important you can do everything with, with just a single tip but just for my sake i'm just creating okay and uh, as you quickly going ahead you will also know the benefit of doing such type of things but as of now just stick with that uh, you will learn a lot of things so i'm just taking one more right content top content that's fine so we have two div here uh, tour plan and top content and after that uh, we'll create some paragraph okay and i will just write some dummy things here so don't uh, worry too much so let me save my time here or okay let me type it so that is not to take too much no i will add, take uh, some example of some other tags so you also do some so as a festival offer we introduce packages for five nights and uh, six days okay covering the destination packages fine so let me type covering different tourist destination covering different tourist destination let's see that how does it looks like as of now so although i would have copy and paste but you know when i do the copy and paste in other classes then people are so new that how does it happen so 
rather than typing makes a good one so first thing is that this is going at top of this one right so now we have to make some css for this one so that it is aligned properly okay so i am going to add some css for this so that it doesn't go at the top of this one fine so let's say create p paragraph here okay and uh, for this uh, we want margin left and that should be margin left should be around five percent first and uh, there should be some style at so that it does not uh, go at the so top uh, let's make some changes to the div because once we make changes in the div the whole content will go down so i will prefer first to go for the tool plan because our the content is our under the tool plan right so we will make some changes in the tool plan so let's go to the tool plan now okay and uh, let's open and close and the tool plan comes here the background color first why i am doing background color because uh, it's no this gray color doesn't look so good so background color white will make a good impact still if you don't feel that you will see uh, later on and the margin top that uh, should be around 120 i think yeah 120 should be fine uh, let's go ahead and margin from the left and right both should be five percent right so margin again why i'm typing margin only it should be margin left okay and uh, no two columns uh, put some semicolon and then margin right that should also be five percent and uh, save this one and let's see what it does yeah little good little good so let's um, add some let's add some content now that is okay this paragraph is also closed but before that i want to make this five nights and six days as a strong so this is a also a new l no this element or tag if you want to emphasize on any of the content you can put under strong so it just make this content as a bold you see correct so this is showing as five and five nights and six days as strong so let's some um, add some more content on this one so we are going to add some detail in the festival offer that i have already added so i have some content uh, let me add that one right so let me add uh, COVID, right COVID uh, warning so guys will be aware of that one let me add under h3 so it will be a little below little big font size and i want a uh, style here as well uh, so there's two things you can all uh, know go to css page and add style over there or you can add some style right here so this is also one thing if you have just one or two properties you can add right now here rather than going to the css page and then add them over there so i am adding a color first color should be red okay i am adding red color and just margin from the uh, left so margin left should be how much margin left uh, five percent yeah five percent should be okay and let's add what are we going to add uh, please go through covid light is all, all all so please go through covid 19 guidelines as we are going to strictly follow these ah this is just dummy thing not to worry about that one but still uh, we are adding some content and uh, learning uh, new html tags by practicing so there are two ways of learning either you do it or just read okay this will do this uh, that will do but rather than just implementing in a website that's make a Good understanding of the content how we are going to do it okay so let's some um, add some more content in that one i'm going to create a tour package so for that tour package uh, i am going to create a table okay so i want to align that table to the center fine this was uh, we have learned a lot in the previous lesson and uh, after that uh, we have table header then table row 
and inside that table row we are having table header and in that table header we are having package details okay and let's close this one table header and let's close this table row as well and let's add take one more table row and in that table row we are going to add table data and uh, table data next one should be package name so this is in header actually so i will put that one in the bold okay so you i will just show you that what is going to do so you will not ask question once again that why you are making it bold and why not the bottom one because the next one i'm not going to bold that one td is closed now okay. so td package name should be amazing and fun fine so let's refresh this page and see what how does it look like now okay please go through our covid19 guidelines covid is a big thing here right now <laughs> okay so that's why i am adding this in the bold package name is in the bold and uh, the the data should be the regular size so it will be going the name let's close this row table row okay bold is not closed oh i always forget to close it fine and uh, after that we are going to close this table row so that's why I always <laughs> close immediately rather than uh, keep uh, open for the pending one and uh, this again it comes as table data and here the table data should be package name package name is already added okay destinations covered so let's add the port destinations covered and then we are going to cover a lot of destination here so <laughs> yeah, you will be quite happy in our tour <laughs> TD, right so what else we are going to cover we are going to cover port player we are going port player first from port player we are going to have a lock okay and from have a lock we are going to need then you can go where 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 okay you can go ross as well that's also a good place and north bay yes north bay who can forget north bay <laughs> Some space here to look good that's fine north bay and after that from north bay okay come back to port Blair once again <laughs> right port Blair, and take a flight and go to wherever you want, want to come to delhi and uh, then you want to go your country that's fine or you go your place okay that's table data is closed <laughs> yes here it should be okay that's quite good let me add one more row before that one let's close this table row and now table row we are going to uh, add some dates that when we are going to arrive again we are taking as bold now fine so departure dates and uh, then okay let's close this so i was forward i'm quite weak in this and date should be first should be i think uh, 13 03 2021 okay and uh, from that uh, 18 because we have six nights so 18 should be fine 18 5 uh, yeah dot 03 and uh, 2021 and uh, let's break line line break is br and line break once again and after that let's take one more look at 20th 20th 03 2021 fine and uh, 2 it should be 25 03.2021 that's okay and let's close this td now and let's close our table row and then departure mode and that's obviously that will flight we'll be going via flight we are not going from the ship or ferry or anything else <laughs> we'll just uh, take this bold as well what should be travel mode yeah travel traveling traveling will be good traveling mode <laughs> and this b and here it is one more tv td and uh, we'll be going via flight as usual close our tr fine and then i'll close we'll close our table so let's see how does it look like now yeah quite good i'm happy with this now 
we have to add CSS for this table so let's go to table first okay so table should be width very important part that should be around I think yeah 60 should be fine after that let's add some border there right we don't want border okay leave it as of now so what else we can add nothing for the this if you don't want to add border okay let's add it <laughs> let's add it border 1px solid black black color will be fine if you want any other color you can choose i'm so okay with this let's ask for the css for the table row okay and the portable row should be width 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 the width is not required for the table row so first thing is should be text align that should be in the center yeah and uh, for another thing should be padding yeah padding should be 3px 4px should be okay i think let's do if we require to change we will change as per our convenience and uh, anything else okay add border as well border 1px solid black black it is let's see what it does now okay little good okay it's quite good table rows and now go to our table data i think table row border does not do anything so as to okay let's let leave it leave it you will learn why it is not doing and td because the, everything is on table data so that will make change text align should be center and then border now border should be one px solid black okay let's see what it does now aha uh -huh. it's good but i think these two lines are not making so good so i want to make the border as collapse okay so border collapse collapse yes okay here it is but i think this package details it is open because everywhere we have two columns and the top we have to just single columns we have to merge this column and that can be done here in the first one we have to uh, merge these two columns right because uh, it doesn't look so good so why on tr they should be th yeah stairs call span that should be how many you want to uh, so two two should be fine yeah so let's refresh this one okay that's perfect i'm quite happy with this table now and uh, with uh, let me make it a little full screen how does it look like okay obviously it will look good uh, no worries fine so else what else you can do but i think you know this uh, is quite quite close to the above so i want to make a line break here so once we take a line break it will you know take some margin at least or you, another thing that you can do two things either you can add a line break or uh, you can uh, this uh, what is called enter margin you can just uh, do two other things so currently i am adding this line break right so you have both options because the line break is quite okay we just simply get a one line break uh, not here my friend uh, as say somewhere here yeah. yes that's quite good and uh, in the bottom as well it's quite close so let me introduce some line breaks over here okay i think two should be fine oh yes it is quite good if you want to add some more packages because obviously you are uh, you know <laughs> that is called uh, good uh, agent then you will be having so many packages so you can add more packages but I'm not going to waste a lot of time in that when I have added three packages. You can now scroll the case. Okay, so I have to add line breaks in between table 
another trial bia and bia there are multiple ways to do uh, these things but uh, i am taking most easy thing so that you can understand okay and uh, I'm not going at the too high that you cannot understand the things or I haven't told you till now so I will not use those things okay so that's quite good and in between you can add heading because obviously uh, this will be another package so like here okay here also we haven't added so <laughs> let's add right obviously because uh, uh, you we don't know that fit uh, which package it is so where is we starting here okay it is here so here you can add h4 fine so h4 will be saying as uh, package 2 and 1 package and 1 okay package and 1 and let's close this one and here also i think if you add uh, padding uh, or margin from the left that will be okay that's also quite good no problem we will not add padding if you required padding then you can add some padding okay let me add it here A style and uh, padding left that should be five percent okay so that will just uh, make some space from the left uh, okay so if you want then you can add if you don't want and the similarly for the next as well you can just do that and i don't want to waste a lot of time doing such type of things but the one very important thing is that i just uh, don't like this called uh, you know this uh, white indian tourism i want to make it blue and here also this green doesn't look so good so i want to make changes in that color of this one so i'm going to make uh, no shadow for this package first thing is the remove shadow and add blue color for that one okay because the sky is blue so blue color will look good still if you uh, want to add some other color you are always free to do such type of things but for me i am not uh, feeling good with that one so i am just uh, adding that one so for the h1 i am going to take some other color where is our h1 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 okay here it is okay color white so i am going to add some blue color on that one that is uh, uh, 0c8 df5 and uh, you also don't want this shadow okay let's see if shadow looks good yeah doesn't look good i don't want this little better and uh, for this as well let's uh, make <laughs> this hover as well some different color okay so background color hover 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 hover, 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 hover uh here it is background color okay uh, let's take some other color i have blue color in my mind that is 54 b a f f let's see how does it look like now it's better obviously because you know that's the thing of uh, designer if you are not good at choosing the colors and definitely your website cannot look so good and i'm quite weak in <laughs> choosing colors actually so <laughs> i can't say anything on that i can't comment so our just two things are okay as of now our tour packages page is also okay home page tour packages now we have to focus on the contactors because currently that is just a blank page so two things is okay uh, let's go to our contact us where is our contact packages i think here it should be somewhere oh, wait, here it is so the same thing we will copy and paste the remaining part right first uh, let's add this html now and the title should be contact contact us page and uh, link uh, css file as well link oh, oh this is not list my friend computers are always like that <laughs> you want to do anything else they always do something else right relations should be our style sheet okay and the reference should be this contact.html no contact.css right why it will be html and in the body 
I think blue 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 will be fine so I will copy this two packages color right so first thing I will do take the these three things here two done I will not take and the contact here and uh, now the CSS for this as well so dot nav bar body and h1 yeah h1 contact where is our css here it is fine <laughs> let's see our css space now what how does it look like how where is our call indian tourism it does not show us haven't we written I think we haven't saved it. Let's refresh now. Oh yes, here it comes. Black color. That's quite okay. Uh, here I will remove this page and I want to put one image in the background. Okay. So I'm going to CSS. Fine. And uh, where is the body tag here? Background image that I am taking. Which one? Now this should be unity so i'm taking as unity and obviously it will not fix here so we'll take some uh, css for that one to fix the height and width okay so where is our body 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 okay we are the body <laughs> sometimes i'm also confused background side should be 100 percent and 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 how much it should be i think uh, our computer should be 600 or uh, so 600 should look good now yes here it covers everything okay fine and uh, one more thing oh yeah obviously we have missed the most important part that contact information so let me delete it from the home page and uh, that was having contact information why to delete it just copy first copy it from here <laughs> right let's copy this one control c not control c that should be control x and add it in the here after h1 yes here it is let's see what it does now okay that's better that's better but uh, let me container is okay well, i think uh, let's make a contact this as a contact now so this will be little uh, used to of that one contact and uh, now we are going to make some changes i think email is okay someone at yeah, example.com paragraph okay that's yeah okay if you're required i will change something but just let's make some css for this one because css is not looking good for this one okay so let's do some css for the contact page that's quite simple because there's not uh, nothing much in this page so just uh, this contact will finish everything now dot contact sorry c o n t s c t okay that's quite good so first thing is margin 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 oh yeah here it is so margin should be from three percent we keep looking on to that one okay that is okay margin left should be uh, i think background color is very important so let me put a background color first background color background color white will make quite good one but it's going to ruin everything ah how bad it is <laughs> right so we will take some margin from left and bottom left and right sorry so from the left it should be around 16 percent that's okay and uh, from the right we have some margin margin from the right margin from the right should be around 53 percent because we have a statue there so we have to increase some margin from the right side so it will make a block now that's quite good and that next thing is this text line should be the center uh, right then only it will make some changes i think uh, we have to put them into two containers right yes we have to make two containers in the contact so the first thing is the contact here and another before that when we have to introduce one more div and that should be back because uh, then only we can uh, align it very well otherwise we cannot so let's make this as back and uh, let's close this yes otherwise you know when we align this uh, this 
text also that does not come at the center of this white box this white comes in the center but uh, this content inside the uh, this white background doesn't come in the center that's why we have to take two divs here so once you keep practicing the things you will learn uh, no worries dot back okay dot back should be some like uh, the alignment at center okay so that's text align at center now you will see it will do it yes otherwise what it happens that it just this white uh, by a block it uh, uh, aligns it left and right i don't and i don't want that and the background size i want a little fix one okay so background size where is the background size yeah here it is that i want as 150x okay and uh, let's close it so that it should be done bigger block no it is not true okay no problem no worries i will do it after <laughs> making the font size bigger <laughs> padding should be around 5px that will make clear okay that's fine so let me make the size bigger okay so once i create a bigger size it will automatically go to a bigger block so font family should be i think this is also okay but if you want then you can add font family as lato my favorite one okay and the font size font size where is font size so on to size oh, that should be 25x you see now it will be bigger oh it's going to outside of that one <laughs> no problem i will add padding now oh um yeah here it is padding should be how much how much how much how much should i have i think 10 10 should be fine ah oh, it's quite good but uh, this example.com is going outside of that one so i think we have to wrap the text okay so word wrap and i want the break word quite strong wrap up it is so that it will come in the same page that's fine so this is quite for the you uh, know when we just go the big one so it will quite high a big one big uh, so it's according to the screen size as you go small it will go small so but if you go in the projector scheme then and again it will be quite high so i think that's it uh, for this one we have learned a lot of things in this and uh, my pages are also working all of them the our navigation part we are quite happy with this navigation now okay and uh, as usual you can add any content for this one and i have taken this uh, topic for the practice as well pra practice sake and you can do by yourself uh, but uh, yes uh, i will summarize what we have learned till now so just go to the present you uh, know presentation i have just quickly go through that that what we have learned in this session especially html tags okay now let's go switch to presentation so let's quickly summarize what we have learned in this lesson so we are going to cover navigation menu and some new tags which we have learned till now so this is basically switching the page and uh, jump to the page where you want to go or navigate so have created pages and navigation menu on that okay so in this uh, lesson the tags we have learned uh, these are the first one b tag so that is making the text bold whatever we are writing that is will just uh, make the bold that's it strong we use this strong in our uh, content where we're making the package right so we just see that what it does may we put the content in strong and it makes bold so it's like that we want to emphasize someone that uh, this content so someone should notice so that we can put in a strong next one is i so this is simple quite italic the content whatever we write inside this i and uh, close this i tag so inside this whatever the content will be there that will be italic the u will be underlined the content and the strike strike through is just uh, cut the line sometimes so that you have seen that uh, someone shows that the earlier price was that and uh, no no i don't want that price i cut that cut that price with the line and uh, below that one we put some new price for that one so that is just basically strike and uh, this uh, delete and insert also the similar to that but here we are having insert so insert means that you know 
below we are having a new price so this insert tag does the same part so i will just uh, show you because i haven't uh, shown you this one so i will just uh, show you uh, this and uh, span is grouping of the content okay so whenever we have written a paragraph and inside that paragraph if you want to make some different color it's like that uh, the total paragraph is in the black color and the inside that span you want that red color so you put the span starting and closing and inside that uh, span you can make it different color or you can some different style italic margin or whatever because once you insert the style you can use all the properties of style suppose you want to make that uh, this different tourist destination right here we are having different tourist destination but i don't want to go different tourist destination i just want to only one so uh, what i can do i can put a strike here okay strike and uh, different tourist destination and just close this on a strike okay so let's see what it does you see that's it's showing that no no we are not going to different tourist destinations so after that what we can do this same thing can we do with the uh, delete and insert so we can just delete this one okay so till uh, different tourist destination where is going up yeah like this and uh, let me close this as one like there okay so now we have deleted this one different tourist but i want to go insert only one tourist destination one tourist destination okay so what it will do it will just cut that one and it will insert one tourist destination okay let's see span as well right so in the span i want to make some different color so inside suppose i don't want this covid 19 to be red or covid 19 guidelines to be red i want some different color so i go to span style is equals to fine and uh, let's close this one and uh, make it color as black fine and let's close the span after this COVID-19 guidelines like here so wherever we close this span uh, it will be closed and uh, span okay we haven't closed that so, yeah. okay now we have to so now see that what it does so you see that this is showing as a black so this is like grouping the content that uh, we are uh, taking out uh, some content and then uh, making giving some other properties so that we can do with the span okay so these are the important tag but except of them we have some more tags which are not commonly used or you can say you can use it depends on your choice but still i was like to introduce so there is code code is like keeps the formatting it was similar to the pre uh, what i have told you in the first lesson so sometimes we have code and we have to show similarly as it is like you are writing uh, one java code or a php coding so whatever if you are writing so you want that you know curly braces uh, semicolon and all that should be uh, similar it should not come in the same line so that's the keeps the formatting whatever you write similarly it will be shown in the browser it browser will not uh, make them in the single line q is just putting the double quote whatever you, uh, content you are writing inside this q that will just insert a starting uh, double quote and ending the double quote that's it address uh, sometimes we have to address and number and all in the address we write some other things so that you can use address but i don't think that anyone will use that one but still you can next is our video uh, video is actually you know used for the direction so this is very much useful in case of uh, languages which are written from right to left like arabic so this is written right to left so if you uh, put insert this like here rtl so rtl means that it is going to right to left okay and if you write ltr ltr means that left to right with what we normally do so you i don't think you have to use that LT, uh, ltr because <laughs> you normally do that one but rtl will be definitely uh, used 
so css properties we learned in this lesson where uh, these are quite similar to the old one there's nothing new i think one is new that was yeah hover in the hover we have uh, taken some new but that's also a part of property we have just written hover and just uh, made the color background or text color that shit there was nothing else in that one okay thank you guys so uh, see you in the next lesson in next lesson i will just uh, create some more content in the html tags will i will come with some new html tags and css content okay so keep watching that one i will see you soon thank you guys